Here on NatureWorks Farm in Bali, we face two major problems. One is the degradation and the pollution of the soil, and the other is the contamination and pollution of the local waterways. We get all of our water on the farm from streams that have run tens of miles from the mountains where the water is clean and clear. But here in Bali, there's still uh, an unsophisticated amount of homes that are still releasing their grey water and even their sewage directly into the streams. There are also a number of industrial elements of, of pollutants going into the water, chemicals from factories, as well as the big one, which is the runoff of all of the fertilizer, all of the herbicides, the pesticides, etc., coming from agriculture. All of the rice fields here are flooded, so the water sits on top of the soil. It's actually clay, and that's heavily polluted with all the chemicals that are used to grow the rice. And when that water is then drained, it comes out in the streams, and we get it here at the end of the chain because we're only one mile from the ocean. So to clean up that water, we've taken a multi-pronged approach. We channel all of our water specifically through a bamboo and concrete channel that we created. In that we've put uh, 80 centimeters of gravel and on top of that gravel, we have planted this plant, vetiver, as well as water spinach and water hyacinth. Now those three plants are known in the scientific journals as well as by uh, farmers uh, all over the world to be incredibly effective at pulling out pollutants, processing sewage and growing extremely well in heavily polluted areas. In the case of this plant, vetiver, this is an Indian grass, it's grown all over the world. It's used to mitigate uh, damaged soils it also stabilizes soils and it's used to mitigate leachate on uh, landfills as well as pulling out pollutants including industrial spills from water. It does that so well because it has an incredible root system. The roots can grow down to 15 feet in depth. Here on our farm we've planted over 5,000 vetiver cuttings. Many of them are along the edges of our, our banks and that's to help stabilize but they're also on the edges because the root system will go into the water and will absorb a lot of the pollutants. On our treatment pond that you can see here with our farmer Pi in there adjusting some of the piping we actually have vetiver rafts so we float vetiver some two to three hundred cuttings in each one of those bamboo rafts and over time that vetiver will actually spread its root system out in the pond, literally acting like a sponge and sucking up all of the chemicals and the sewage. Also in our treatment pond, we have two other uh, approaches, which is, as you can probably see, air is bubbling through. So we're pumping air through the water to oxygenate it, which keeps a lot of the algae down and also improves the terrain for biodiversity but we've also put in many 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 gallons of bacterial inputs and these are specific bacteria that are known to process sewage and to process chemicals and in their organic processing they actually convert what could be poisonous to us or poisonous to our plants and they break it down into organic material. As it stands right now we've used this water two months ago on our plants and it caused carnage on the leaves. There was too much sewage in it and therefore all of the leaves went really brown and they got yeast and mold infections on them. Now we're spraying it and the water is considerably cleaner even though our vetiver is still in early stages. So the process here is that we're testing water before it comes onto our property, we're testing it at the end of the channels and then we're testing it after it's been through a treatment pond which is a totally all organic bacteria based oxygen supported vetiver hyacinth and water spinach treated area this is a completely organic and novel simple and even dare i say it uh, cheap approach to cleaning water